is the same example to do a couple of operations. First, to copy a schematic design, and second, to change instance parameter. To use this example, download this KSKP cell WRK.7Z ADS ADS archive. ADS Workspace Archive has the extension 7Z ADS. To open 7Z ADS file, uh, open ADS main window file on archive menu item and select the archive. Select open and then select a destination directory and then click finish. The archive is open and this example has an, a readme file and to use it you can read through the readme file and then open this uh, test one. What, what it does is that it copies this cell into a number of cells. The number is determined by how many S2V files found under the data directory. In this case, five of them. So it will copy this cell into one cell and then replace the value of file with the SMP file name here and then repeat for each one of them. So let's see how it works. Uh, in, the lib in the main window, select library view and then expand the AEO files. The function is defined in this kscopycell.aeo file. Select the AEO file name, right click, and then select the load command in the pop up menu. It copies the test one into test, and then followed by the SMP file name RC1, test RC1, and then replace this value of file to RC1 S2P and then the, for RC3 it replace the value of file to RC3.S3P. In addition it also creates this uh, uh, MEAS1 uh, measurement equation uh, item with two measurement equations. Take a look at the code. So the get the files returns the list of files under the directory with this file extension. So in this case, uh, the number of the list of S2P files under uh, ADS data directory. And in this fi while loop, uh, it iterates through each of the file using this car and CADR. Car returns the first element in the list. CADR returns the list with first element removed. So by doing so, it will iterate through first element and then second element and so on until uh, the list is exhausted. And the key function to copy cell in this function is this D copy cell that copies from library cell to library new cell name. And then once the 
the copy is created is this DE get design context from name, uh, which is the design name of the new cell library colon cell name colon view name, and the context is opened. A new window with this DE show context in new window call, and this DB update parameter ex function uh, allows you to update uh, instance value, a list of in instance values. Uh, the first argument is context, uh, then a list of triplet, uh, triplets. Instance name, parameter name, and parameter value. In in this menu example, you can see that in this case there are two parameters of two different instances can be updated with the same DB update parameters ex call. And this another function that you can use to update uh, instance parameters. DE set item parameters. This one takes a complete list, complete list of parameters in exact order. And it takes uh, item as first argument, and item is returned by uh, DE added item call or DE, sometimes DE init item call. So in summary, this function allows you to copy one cell to another and then update instance parameters using up DB update parameters EX and use using DE set item parameters. Thank you for watching.